September 1974. At Altus Air Force Base, Oklahoma, a galaxy takes off for a test flight with pilot Larry Phillips. I started flying C-5s in 1972. They upgraded me rapidly to instructor pilot. As he climbs towards 30,000 feet, Phillips retracts the five sets of landing gear. But something's not right. There's 28 wheels, and the smallest of failures can lead to disaster. We had a dragging brake on the tire. And after we got airborne, that brake overheated, and that caught the tire on fire. Any fire is dangerous. This one threatens disaster. Each wheel unit connects to one of the galaxy's four hydraulic systems. Fire burning through the hydraulic line takes out the landing brakes and threatens to spread to the aircraft's controls. Phillips looks for anywhere to land. We saw a rotating beacon from an airport. I didn't know how much longer we was going to be able to stay in flight, so we decided to land. It's a tiny local airport and a very big plane, but Phillips has no choice. We're doing a no-flap, no-brake landing. Approach speed was 160 knots. The fire had spread into the cargo compartment. And the scanner kept saying, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. We decided to emergency extend the gear. We got three of them down and rotated to the forward rolling position. But the left aft gear would not rotate forward. Stuck wheels pose a problem. No brakes makes it worse. The only thing we had to slow the airplane down was the inboard thrust reversers and spoilers. So we went off the end of the runway, and we impacted the barrier at the side, and it tore the nose gear off. It's a scene of utter disaster. An aircraft torn apart, yet the crew in their high off the ground flight deck survive. The only thing that was left was the flight deck there, the floor of the flight deck was there. All the cargo compartment below the flight deck was gone. Once again, the sheer size of the giant cargo craft saves the crew's life. Despite its problems, the galaxy's unique capabilities make it irresistible to the US military. By 1990, the Air Force has 126 of these giants in the sky. America's military forces and its airlift can move into combat mode overnight. Literally within 72 hours, Air Mobility Command has C-5s ready to go. It's a resource which can be thrown into action at any moment. 